you advocate leadership training for teachers. Why? Yeah. And, and what does this entail? What does this look like? Right. Yeah, what I'm involved in, and I can't take the credit for this, actually, I do work with a charter school network called the KIPP. They're, um, I believe, uh, the largest or amongst the largest charter school networks in the United States. They have over 140 schools across the country. And the founders, Dave Levin and Mike Feinberg, um, have had a tremendous impact on the number of kids going to college, to and through college, from that bottom quartile, from low-income neighborhoods where access to higher education has been a challenge historically. What they have taught me is the importance of strong leadership in schools to create the kinds of schools that can help kids who are coming from environments where quality education hasn't been available, to bring kids who are three grade levels behind in a subject up to grade level and beyond, get them into college and get them through college, mm. even once they've left the KIPP schools, you require the highest quality school, which means it requires the highest quality school leadership. Mm. And so in learning from them and in working with them as a member of their team that teaches the school leadership program they have over the summer, I work with several other business school professors and we put on a one week curriculum for the principals of those schools, the assistant principals, and the pipeline of school leadership. They might be grade level chairs, they might be curriculum like a subject level chair, they might be a, a dean of students at, mm -hmm. at a SKIP school. And they come together from all over the country for one week in Chicago and we immerse them in a week of leadership training. Mm -hmm. Now most of them are not completely in a teacher role they are taking on these additional leadership responsibilities. So that's where my point of contact is, is the leadership training for teachers who are also taking on these additional responsibilities as school leaders. Um, it has a tremendous impact. The, the schools where the school leaders are in place and are performing at a high level see higher levels of attendance, see higher levels of graduation, see higher levels of college matriculation. So, the leader of a school, we can think of them as they're essentially a teacher of the adults in the school. They're helping mm -hmm. every teacher in that school grow and be as high performing as they can be, which in turn helps the children grow and be as high performing as they can be. So what we do when we think about school leaders and leadership training is we're not thinking of them as administrators and bureaucrats. We're thinking of them as growers of adults and children, which is what leaders are in businesses as well. Right. There's such a parallel yes. that I hear as yes. you talk about this, yes. leading a team to a goal and yes. taking all the different personalities and learning styles yes. and, and getting people to a certain point. That's Absolutely. really interesting to apply to education. Absolutely. And there's certainly no premise that education is a business. It's We're not treating them as business people. It's far more complex than a business. What a school principal is trying to do is more challenging that, than any CEO in a company is mm. facing the stakeholders, the parents, the children, the circumstances they can't control. It is such a challenge mm. school leaders face. It is the hardest job. I love working with them. I would never want their job. It would <laughs> terrify me. I have, I'm in such awe of what they do. What I've learned from the, I don't know how many of them I've worked with now, maybe almost a thousand we're coming up on. Mm. What I keep learning from them is that they are modeling learning and growing themselves. They're setting that mindset so it flows throughout the building. So there are no excuses for not learning. There are no excuses for not growing. There are not, no excuses for not getting up when we fail. They're modeling it so the adults and the kids can keep doing it under really challenging circumstances.